Hi everyone, welcome to this Tiger Eye demo. Um, I've drawn this on Velour paper, Hannah Mule Velour, which I've never used before. Um, so um, it's a test for me. Um, also, just wanted to mention that um, uh, there'll be a link in the description about a blog post I've written on building confidence as an artist, uh, where you'll get a um, free downloadable PDF with some action tasks in that uh, if you struggle with confidence as an artist, which um, I know most of us do. Most artists are introverted and um, it's always handy to be reminded about um, things you can do just to, to help build that confidence up. Okay, so to start with, um, I'm using Stabilo Carbothello pastel pencils and um, I've already done the background on this piece which I use the soft chalk pastels, um, primarily unison and some um, schminky. But for the eye, because it's... Um, like more detailed I like to use the pencils because I can get a, a um, finer edge on everything although I did find with this velour paper that that you can't get a really sharp edge um, just because of how soft the paper is everything does seem to have a slight blur but I do think that maybe um, once the whole drawing's done that could be a really nice effect um, for, for animals, for fur, just a really soft effect. So well, I'll decide that once I finish this drawing. Uh, what I did find with this paper is it took layers really well. I was um, able to build up um, plenty of different layers with different colours as long as I, I was quite light with those layers. So um, that's how I like to work anyway because I usually use anywhere from around 10 different colours when I'm drawing an eye and just build those those layers up because there's always blues and greens and oranges and yellows. There's so many different colours in eyes just from the reflections. Um, uh, the other thing to note is when I do an eye, even though with pastels you can go from dark to light, but I do always like to just mark out where those um, reflections are so to make sure I don't put any black or anything over it just to keep those reflections nice and vivid. So I always just use the white pencil and just mark those few, few little spots before I get stuck into it too far. I really um, just like to block in all the different colours to start with. I get the um, the black of the pupil kind of marked in there and then um, just everywhere I can see a bit of colour in the, the reference image I block those um, colours in. So if I see a bit of purple I'll put a bit of purple down, if I see some green I'll do that and then towards the end I start to blend them together with the pencils um, and I find that sort of helps to build those different coloured layers up and because there are only light layers you can still see the different colours coming through from underneath and um, it really gives it a nice effect.
I've sped this video up to um, two times the um, normal speed because I didn't want to do it too quick because I wanted you still to be able to see what was happening. Um, but yeah, in real time, it took an hour to do this eye. So um, yeah, this video is half an hour. Once I get um, kind of a certain way th through the pupil, um, I then like to start to build the outside around because, um, with, especially with tigers, it's usually black around the eye, and I find by getting that that full black outline down, it um, makes it easier to then finish the pupil in the colours and getting it to look rounded. So that's um, the next process. Here I'm also trying to just get familiar with my um, initial lines of where the blacks are and where the whites are uh, just so that I don't lose track and put the blacks in the wrong spot uh, that's the one good thing with tigers you can and leopards are the same actually because of the black spots you can really map out in your reference drawing your original tracing where everything is so I like to just get a few marks down so I don't lose track of where I am.
now I'm starting to build up the um, the area around the eye so I'm constantly watching which way the fur is um, what direction the fur is going because that's what makes a realistic portrait if you don't concentrate on that then and and for length then um, it, it looks looks wrong so <clears throat> that's one of the most important things when doing wildlife art is just to constantly keep checking which way those four first strokes are going I'm finding the pastel pencils in the white aren't really standing out that well on um, on this um, the little paper so um, I've needed to go and grab the chalk pastel stick which this is a uh, schminky white so it's very soft so I think um, that's how I'll build this up I'll work with the pastel pencils but then to get those really light whites and really dark dark darks I'll um, finish off with the, the sticks because um, as you can see it, it really does make it pop and gives it that more three-dimensional look so um, yeah that's how we'll tackle this
Okay, now I'm starting to get some colour in there just as so I can um, sort of see where I'm at um, with all these lines all over the paper. I'm like just slowly working my way out from the eye and just making sure I, I know what bits are orange, what bits are black, what bits are white because it would be a disaster if I um, coloured in a, a black section that was supposed to be white because as much as pastels will go over the dark you, you, you're you never going to get a really white white going over the top of black so just got to really keep an eye on it keep referring back to your reference photo It's probably a bit hard to see in this um, video, but you notice black is never just black. Um, usually there's a lot of blues and purples, and this in this case there's even some, some pinks in it. Um, it just brings it more to life and makes it more rea look realistic and interesting in the finished portrait.
you'll notice on the reference image that this area here um, we know it's white fur but it's actually um, grey in the uh, a bluey grey so um, what I've done here is just go over with some white and then I'll get my um, grey pencil and just dull that down a bit because you want your your brightest whites where the sun's hitting it which is up around where the eye is so even though we know this is white fur because it's in shadow it's actually a grey fur You can see now that I'm just sort of refining the detail. So I've blocked in and um, now I'm just going back over it and really starting to focus on that 
uh, reference image and, and really starting to to take note of where everything is and what colours are where and and just get that detail in. Okay guys, if you've enjoyed watching this, um, just follow the link in the description. It'll take you through to my private Facebook group where I do um, Facebook Lives of my drawing and you can ask any questions of me and um, get some feedback. The group page is called Drawing Wildlife and Nature Beginners to Advanced. And hopefully if you enjoyed watching this, we'll um, see you over in the Facebook group. Thanks a lot.